Biologicals are booming, but for many in the seed space, they still raise more questions than answers. With a wave of new products and rising pressure to deliver on both performance and sustainability, understanding where and how biologicals truly fit is more critical than ever. I wanted to cut through the noise and go straight to someone who truly understands where this market is headed to help us make sense of what's real, what's next, and what matters most. You know, thank you for making time for me. We're here at the Syngenta booth and there's a lot going on. There's a lot of people, a lot of interest. Syngenta has led the biological space for uh, a long time. So, and you are the leader of Syngenta's biologicals. You'd be the perfect person to tell me, how do you see the biologicals market evolving? So biologicals are not completely new. Biologicals have been used by farmers for over a hundred years now. But what we, we see as new is uh, the interest uh, from seed companies to service their growers with biologicals on their, on their seed already. Uh, so we see more interest on, of course, biocontrol, biostimulants, and nutrient insufficiency solutions. And for the seed companies, it's critical the service aspect. So how do they integrate biologicals into their current offer? So, so let's talk efficacy. For, for farmers, efficacy is the most important component. How how close are biologicals to matching conventionals in terms of efficacy, and where are we already there? I mean, biologicals have been evolving over the years. The products we have today are much better than the ones we had before in terms of convenience of use, in terms of efficacy as well. I think this the, the magic is combining the best of the traditional crop protection with biological solutions. With biologicals, we can bring an alternative mode of action, more persist- persistence in that uh, in that crop cycle as well. Uh, so it's about making the best offer, uh, we believe. What would you say to someone who's who is still maybe not quite confident about getting biologicals to try? Yeah, I think biologicals are here to stay. I think uh, they offer a different number of advantages. For each grower, I think it, it requires uh, some uh, leap as well. So, um, so I would encourage growers to start looking at, at their surroundings, at their neighbors, to look at uh, university material, to look at institutions that they trust, to look at companies that they have trusted in the past, and to give it a try. Of, of course, to have in mind what's that's the goal and not use biologicals, because it's biologicals, but having the goal in mind if they're looking for early uh, crop establishment or if they're looking for an alternative source of nutrition, uh, or if they're looking for a new mode of action because they're seeing some issues with some pathogens on their feet. Uh, so I think uh, that's the critical part, uh, starting from the grower needs and seeing what kind of biological product fits that need, not using just biologicals, not biologicals. Okay, so so let me switch the conversation to talk about compatibility. Compatibility obviously matters a lot. How do biologicals fit into a real-world, practical yeah. application. But compatibility is always critical from a physical point of view, so how they mix uh, with other components of that recipe and how they, in the case of microbials, for example, how they can survive on the seed for a long period of time since the application till the sowing actually occurs. So that's a critical point of recipe development. That's something we do with our network called Seed Care Institute. We provide this service to our customers so that they are certain how to apply and they have peace of mind at the time of applying this, uh, this recipes as a whole, right? Okay, so the, the biologicals market is young and it's noisy. There's a lot going on, a lot of companies bringing forward new products. How do you recommend that people navigate that? Uh, whether it's individual farmers or whether it's seed companies, how would you suggest that they make choices that are going to work best for, for their application? So there's a number of ways, but I would start with what's the goal, right? What's the goal for you? What are you chasing? What are you looking for in a biological? Is it biocontrol? Are you looking for a new mode of action? Is it biostimulant? Are you looking for an early brand establishment? Are you looking for alternative source of nutrition? And having that in mind, I would look at, okay, what are the products available and what's the overall offer that is available? So there's a lot of products, as you said, but how you deliver those products, how you apply those products is critical in biologicals. 
what we were discussing about compatibility is a critical topic uh, when it comes to biological. So I would look at, okay, what are the suppliers that are available that can offer me the best value? I would put it as a, as a value uh, kind of discussion. An excellent answer at the end of the day. It needs to be about value. So now here's the, the, the most important question perhaps. Without giving too much away, what's coming next in your pipeline that's got you excited? Well, I'm, I'm very excited by the investments that Syngenta as a company is doing in R&D for biologicals. So we have all this expertise from R&D, traditional crop protection, and we have also, also this expertise from some of our acquisitions in R&D biologicals. So we are building our capabilities around this. Today we have a, a good portfolio of commercial products, but we believe that with the pipeline that we have coming up, we will raise the bar even a bit a bit more. So we have some very, very interesting solutions in the nutrient use efficiency space. Uh, specifically, one of our ambitions is a nutrient use efficiency solution for the seed companies, right? So that we can provide an alternative source of nutrition uh, for that crop and turn those seeds into nutrient use efficiency nutrient use efficient crops, right? Uh, then on, on biocontrol, we're very excited with our pipeline, what's coming up. Uh, we have some really good developments coming uh, close to the end of the decade, looking at some of the critical uh, pathogens that farmers are having issues with for standalone uh, products or for combinations with uh, with chemistry exposure. Our AIs from the traditional crop protection are, are better and better as well from a sustainability point of view. We have this always top of mind. Uh, so we build, we are trying to build an offer that combines the best of both uh, of both sports, right? Uh, for a, a very value proposition uh, for our customers. And five years from now, if you look into a crystal ball and say what's coming, big changes yeah. ahead? Yeah. So one thing that we see coming is uh, biological becoming more precise, right? More precise in their modes of action and more precise in the positioning, right, of biologicals. Uh, so coming from biologicals that are more general in their modes of action to more targeted, and also we see this as, a, as, an, as an extra convenience, right? Uh, so biologicals that are, that are uh, easier to incorporate into the standard uh, ways of working of, of farmers. Uh, so we believe it's going to be an improvement in terms of uh, efficacy, but also an improvement in terms of convenience. So that's where we see the, the future, right? We will be watching very carefully. Tito, want to thank you for the time, sir. Thank you.